If you need to quickly trim a video without losing quality, professional video editors like Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve aren't the best choice by default. They typically re-encode the video, which can lead to quality loss and larger file sizes. A better option is a Vitamux. It's a free and lightweight tool that lets you trim videos without re-encoding, so you keep the original quality and file size. To download a Vitamux, click the link in the description and get the 64-bit Windows installer. Then run the installer and proceed with the default options. Now let's see how to create a clip without re-encoding. First, bring your video into a Vitamux by dragging and dropping it into the interface. Next, we will choose the output settings. To retain the original quality, select Copy for both video and audio. This means neither the video nor the audio will be re-encoded, keeping the original quality. And for the output format, we'll select MP4, as it's a widely compatible format. Then we'll mark the start and end points of our clip using the A and B buttons here. However, here's the thing. If you want to keep the original encoding, you have to mark the starting point at a keyframe, not just any frame. This isn't specific to a Vitamux. It's how it works when you don't want to re-encode a video. We can move between frames using the left and right arrow keys. To jump between keyframes, use these double-headed arrow buttons or the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard. In this example, I want to keep the original encoding, so I'll mark the starting point at a keyframe. When I do that, the timecode will be updated to reflect the new starting point at the marker. Next, we'll select the endpoint. For the endpoint, it's generally not an issue if you don't place the marker precisely on a keyframe, if you're making a single clip. However, it's something to pay attention to. Now that we've made our selection, the next step is to save it as a new video. You can do this by going to the File menu and clicking Save, or by using the Save Video button here. The clip was saved almost instantly because no re-encoding was needed. If you can't mark the starting point at a keyframe, then re-encode the video. Choose H.264 for the video and MP3 for the audio. Then save your selection. This time, you'll notice the processing will take longer and the resulting file size will also be relatively larger because the video is being re-encoded. Now I will show you how to remove parts from a video. The same rules apply as before, except you need to mark both the starting and ending points at keyframes if you don't want to re-encode the video. Here I am not going to mark from keyframe to keyframe, so I will first set the new encode setting. Then we can start removing sections from the video. Mark the start and end points, and then click the delete button or press the delete key on your keyboard. Do this for all the sections you want to remove from your video and save it as a new video. Before we finish the video, there are a few things I want to show you. The first one is, if you've finished editing a video and want to bring a new video into the interface, Go to the File menu and click Close. This will close the current video without quitting a Vitamux. And if you want to undo all your edits and go back to the original video, go to the Edit menu and click Reset Edit. Also, you can add multiple video clips to the timeline. Simply drag and drop all the clips you want, one after the other, onto the interface. That brings us to the end of this video on how to cut videos on Windows using a Vitamux. 
And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Windows tips and tutorials.